Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. I'm Eric and today we are watching The Princess Diaries. I got some requests for a chick flick and then I checked out like what are some chick flicks. I, I asked the Patreon uh, some, uh, supporters for their input like what would you like to see on a poll and I also googled like best chick flick <laughs> movies <laughs> and according to many lists uh, this one was pretty high up and um, I don't know if it's technically a chick, chick flick, but I put it on the poll and this one won, so here we are. I have no idea what this is going to be like. Um, I'm curious though. <laughs> I don't think I've ever really watched a like technically a chick flick movie, you know? Um, I might have, but I didn't realize it at the time or something. It's not that I'm like afraid of them, it's not that I don't want to watch them, it's just like... It's never something I've gone to naturally on my own. So this is going to be interesting. Not that I think that chick flicks are anything like special or anything. It's like some very different kind of movie or anything. I just, um, I'm assuming that it's like uh, feel good stuff. Uh, usually comedies, I'm guessing. Uh, often drama as well can be. Um, and it's something that usually resonates more with women than, than men, I guess. I'm I'm always open to something different, I guess. So yeah, let's let's dive into it and see what this one brings. If you want to support me or get this early and uncut, then check out the Patreon. Link is in the description down below. On the Patreon, I also have like all the shows I'm doing in. Yeah, in general everything. So yeah, check it out if you want to. But with that said, let's get into the Princess Diaries. <laughs> the font really reminds me of Princess Bride. Especially the way it said princess. San Francisco, right? I'm just assuming. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's the trams and the very steep slopes. So, <laughs> yes, San Francisco. And Hathaway. <laughs> but this was a while ago. I don't know how old this is. I'm assuming 90s. Is this uh, first day of school or something? And there's the diplomatic car. I'm assuming it's going to be important. Princess Diaries, so probably literal princess and diplomatic car. I don't know. Lana, Anna, Fontana. <laughs> That's a lot of Annas. <laughs> Morning, Lily. Lily's friend. <laughs> That's a little. Yeah, okay. A little rude. Oops. Oops. I'm sorry, I didn't see you. Um, yeah, okay. That's the general theme, huh? She's invisible, no one knows her. Soft kisses <laughs> she likes to fantasize, huh? Okay. I think Grove should dump the uniforms and we have casual dress all year round! Yeah. I think... Um, what a and he was playing to the crowd as well. Like, this is not fair. See, casual... Ca casual... <laughs> uh, scary talking in public. So it wasn't the first day, but it might as well have been because no one knows her. Mia, finish up with Mr. Talman and then you can take a break. And she works at a rock climbing gym. I am never going to be a good public speaker. Just call him and tell him. <laughs> I'm, I'm guessing you will be by the end of this movie. <laughs> Your grandmother called. This is the first time she's ever contacted us. What she want? She's in town. Oh, she's the one in the diplomatic car. Here for a meeting with my grandmother. Name? Clarice Rinaldi. Oh, uh, please come to the front door. Thank you very much. <laughs> With a big G for what was it, Gen Geno Genovia? Get off the grass! <laughs> yes, it's an embassy. You get it. Ah, this place is awesome. I don't know what period this is, this counts as. Victorian, maybe? I don't know. But I really like this look. It's very warm and inviting. I'm so glad you could come. Hi, you've got a great place. Thank you. <laughs> Let me look at you. It's taxpayer funded. 
<laughs> it feels like yeah. um, Amelia is uh, exaggerating at the moment. <laughs> yeah, sure. My father was the Prince of Genovia. Uh-huh, you're joking. Why would I joke about something like that? <laughs> like, notice the setting. Princess of Genovia. Me? Okay. They're gonna straighten her hair, aren't they? Why on earth would you pick me to be your princess? <laughs> it's not so much a question of picking, you know? <laughs> Queen Clarice, my expectation in life is to be invisible, and I'm good at it. Yeah. yeah I had now you're gonna have to learn to become very, very visible. That went well, didn't it? Uh, perhaps she needs more time. Will you help me? Mr. Thermopolis? No, we're leaving. <laughs> you want me to be a chauffeur and a babysitter? For the time being, yes. The child needs protection. I don't know. Maybe maybe there's some subversive elements in Genovia that want to overthrow the monarchy. Possibly. And that's why she needs protection. I was scared. Well, living with a mother who lied to me for 15 years scares me. Where are you going? I'm oh, going she's to 15. The royal bedchamber. <laughs> that was awesome. You try living for 15 years thinking that you're one person, and then in five minutes you find out that you're a princess. You know what? Just, just... No, I mean, it doesn't change who you are, really. If Amelia refuses to accept the throne, then Genovia will cease to exist as we know it. Maybe that's for the better, you know? You could become a, a democracy. Philippe was ready to be king. And then the terrible accident. Maybe it wasn't an accident. You know, because I'm like I'm just thinking that my, there might need to be some conflict in this movie, like some some reason that she needs she needs protection. I can't wait until she's eighteen. <laughs> That's very princess-like behavior. <laughs> However, you desperately need some instruction. I speak <laughs> for the entire Genovian Parliament and the royal family. Oh, you have a parliament. Where is she going? The tower. Mia? <laughs> oh, she's gonna sit in the tower? Yes, that is very princess-like behavior. Mia promises to attend princess lessons until your ball. Then she makes her decision. Now, can you both live with that? It seems I have no option. If I have to. You do know what a Mustang is, right? I raise Mustangs. That is not a sensible car for a princess. Well, you see, it's not really a sensible car for anyone. It doesn't run. <laughs> no, exactly. Do you raise limousines, too? No. <laughs> I mean, Good question. Joseph? Hi, nice to meet you. The elegant yes. European woman didn't see He's gonna uh, be your shadow from now on. <laughs> Enjoy. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Fun toy. I think she's selling the teenager vibe very very well i don't know how old she was here you can call me joe hey joe joey <laughs> no that's too far <laughs> no joe yeah that was too far <laughs> i do wonder uh like if he's gonna drive her everywhere aren't people gonna know is your mother dating an undertaker and if you were a hearse there would be silence in the back seat <laughs> <laughs> yeah good point <laughs> Oh, I think I'm gonna like Joe. Are you really speaking at the bulimic convention? So you can speak and barf at the same time? <laughs> Popular kids, man. They're so tiresome. At least your dad's still alive. Hey. I thought you were getting over that. It's been, what, two months? <laughs> yeah, that's how fast that goes. Beautiful presents. Remember that Fabergé merry-go-round he sent me? That was nice. And he paid for my school trip. Fabergé merry-go-round. That sounds very expensive. You're gonna break it, aren't you? It's gonna fall over. It didn't fall over, but it still broke. Mauve. Miss Amelia, welcome. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Statue is now a smoker. <laughs> the neck is seemly. Ears. <laughs> She's not one of your horses. When walking in a crowd, one is under scrutiny all the time. So we don't <laughs> lump like this. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> 
never cross their legs in public. Why don't you just tuck one ankle behind the other and place the hand... <laughs> Charlotte, I think it's time for tea. Yes, I think so too. I'm going to turn the back seat into a dressing room so I can change into a proper outfit for Madame, okay? Yes, well, I don't forget the shoes. Going down. <laughs> hmm. She is very adorable. Straight, 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 straight up. Let's practice this here. <laughs> right. no, 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 this Joe is a man of many talents, apparently. And a tangle, you see? They're teaching her to be a princess, but she is a princess already. Anything she does is royal because, by definition, she is. Oh. Oh, Joseph. You've been wearing black too long. I think you're overstepping your bounds a bit, dude. Yeah, back away, Charlotte. <laughs> Regina mia, buongiorno. My assistant. Gretchen and Helga. Good afternoon. Was okay, it's makeover time, I guess. Paolo, we have a limited number of days before the state dinner. Frizzy, busy, dizzy. Okay, he's the hairdresser. Like a wolf. <laughs> he's all right. <laughs> I think you need to wash it first, dude. I love your eyebrows. We'll call them Frida and Carlo. <laughs> I get that reference now, because I watched Coco. A princess. I don't know, I liked it better before. <laughs> he stopped dead in his tracks. <laughs> you have one of these bags? You know, we could hawk that and feed a whole third world country? I mean, you used to care more about what was inside your head instead of on it. Come on, Mia, fess up. It's not, she's not the one deciding, Jesus. Give her a break, Lily. I mean, I, I, I prefer the hair before as well, but Jesus, Lily. You should know that no one can make you feel inferior without your consent. Look, just because your hair sucks, get off mine. Ouch, thank you. <laughs> so can you please of you ragging on me all the time and always telling me what to do? You know, I get enough of that from my mother and now my grandmother and I don't need it from you. I'm no, just be a friend instead. I will tell you the truth, but you're going to think it's really stupid and you're going to freak. She's going to spill. She's going to tell. I'm sorry uh, I was harsh and I, I don't know what else there is to say. I don't, I think this... <sighs> I think this is a big mistake. And there are pros and cons to being a princess. Shh, don't say that word. Okay, 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 here. Okay, okay. Glasses have begun. Yeah. The gardener dude. Mamma mia! Look who's trying to fit in now. Really it's crazy. a wig, right? <laughs> like to learn about vault hair. Okay, Lily, okay. Okay, everybody settle down now. Quiz time, okay? The roses. Yeah, I, I hope Lily's gonna be able to keep her mouth shut and <laughs> not give away anything. No, not quite so big because, of course, it's very, very exhausting after a while. Very funny, dear. <laughs> I like that one. Thank I'm sorry, ma'am. I must pick up the Prime Minister. Oh, Excuse me. oh. oh well, thank, thank you for being here today. How <laughs> silly. Saturday. It's on? Yeah, great. Hi. Hey. I'm guessing something's going to come up. I'm just going to sabotage it. What's going on? Maybe it's a protest. Maybe. No, it's you. Lily, did you tell? I didn't say anything. Mia, Mia. Princess Mia. Princess. Who's your favorite actor? Uh, Why they calling her princess? Was it the, was it the gardener dude? Speak. Paolo. Majesty, it was I who told the press about you, Principe. Oh, Paolo. So to speak. You, oh, you jerk. Just awful. Doesn't anyone respect royalty anymore? What is it like? <laughs> dial it back. Calm the heck down. Uh, show her your security plans for Amelia's safety. What? <laughs> yeah, just improvise, dude. I'm sure you'll be able to. <laughs> you don't have to do this. I will think about it. And let you know soon. Of course she's not going to get out of it. Is the daughter of local eclectic artist Helen Thermopolis. 
Hey, this is going to be great for for uh, Helen, for mom, for her art. I mean, she's going to she's going to see a real uh, boost in in uh, demand. Well, the Feng Shui Club, please stop rearranging the tables on the. <laughs> I love that announcement. That was awesome. <laughs> of course, they won't stop. Number three, you can't go nuts. So you can't be all like blah during the day. Lily? Yeah, of course you can. <laughs> Redefine what it means to be a princess. Would you come on my cable show on Saturday night? Yeah, sure. I love you! Okay, I'm gonna... Oh no, Saturday? Ah, uh, there she is. How is she? You are much prettier. Mm, no. I hear there's certain Lord Spivak's filet on the bone. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. He's... Oh, his suit's gonna catch fire. Everyone's looking now. <laughs> so much weight, staff. Between the courses to cleanse the palate. Mm. What should we do? Well, we should take that much too. Just do the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Brain freeze all around. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. It's nice of them. To the Baroness and Baron Van Token, may you always be Baron. <laughs> nice. No, don't go looking for it. Just leave it. Here's the disaster. Was that my fault? Yes, it kind of was, but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. Huh? <laughs> yes, think like this. Kids make kids screw up. She's 15. For her first showing, she did great, I think. Sorry I let you down, Dad. No, that's fine. That's her Fabergé <laughs> carousel. Merry go round. You're not mad at me for what happened? Actually, I found it rather funny. Yeah, there you go. My first royal dinner party. Don't I have diplomatic immunity? You do, but her we have to take downtown. What? Why, I would be proud to have two such fine, honorable gentlemen serving in Genovia. Aw, oh, shucks, ma'am. Bestow upon you the honor of the, um... How? Oh. Uh, order of the, uh... She can, she can bullshit pretty well. I have an emergency break. This will do fine, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> With power vested in me by the royal... Oh, I kind of like her. Masters of the Order of the Rose. And all of you bear witness to this auspicious moment in history. <laughs> I, I know you don't want to go all the way downtown, but... Uh, that really won't be necessary. <laughs> Worked like a charm. <laughs> Noble Arthur, how Sir Arthur, thank you very much. <laughs> oh, Julie Andrews was a perfect cast for this. What origin OB is, anyone? Oh, it's a it's a country between France and Spain. That was a question on Jeopardy. This oh. Would you consider you and the princess best friends? Um, I would never say that. <laughs> you shut up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're paying attention now, huh? I mean, he always kind of were. He was, he was nice to her, which is more than you could say for some people in this school. Saturday night's the big beach party. Uh -huh. Oh, there's. Cool if we went together. Doesn't she have like ton of things now on Saturday? There's Lily's thing. There's Lily's uh, brother playing music. The date there at the garage, and now this. So I was thinking um, I could come by the garage next week and listen to your band play then. All right? Oh, yeah. That's, yeah. Are you okay? There's still the Lily thing that you're forgetting about. I think I might get my first real kiss. Backstreet Boy clone you've had a crush on forever. Okay, he is not a Backstreet Boy clone. He kind of is a Backstreet Boy clone. I thought he was never nice to you. And he was never really nice to her, but you said it yourself. She's had a crush on him since, like, forever. You know... In old films, whenever a girl gets seriously kissed, her foot would just kind of pop. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, I'm gonna go change now. I hope you get your first real foot pop and kiss. I like it so you can fly, stupid cute. I am in love and it's a <laughs> Oh, the 60s vibes are coming in strong. As if that's you singing, by the way. And now it's time again for your favorite talk. And here we are. Later on in my show, I will be joined by our very own Princess Mia. Yeah, we don't know. Until she arrives, I've asked Grove's magic master, Jeremiah Hart, to entertain us with some sleight of hand. I think you're gonna be very sorely disappointed there, Lily. So it is going to her head a bit. We're getting her friends and so on. Her new life. Awesome. Oh, freaking paparazzi. Look, they can't see us. We can't see them. We're all alone in this little shack. Hint. <laughs> no, stay. Give her a smooch. Give her a big slap you all want. Yeah, that's all he wants. We've got your clothes. You'll be a lot warmer. You guys want to help me? Yeah, you know, Josh is such an idiot. We're going to make sure no one bothers you. No, they... I don't know. I'm, I don't trust any of this. Yeah, I had good reason to. <laughs> and now Lila's gonna show up and pile on, isn't she? It was just last night that Sam. Okay, never mind. I think you're making a wise decision to abstain from the job. I suppose. Uh... No, she's gonna take the job. This was merely a device so that he could get his 15 minutes of fame. And her friends didn't help either. I mean, Anna, Falana, Banana, Bandana, those. Yeah, those awful people. Why didn't she have enough common sense to deal with this? She's Be only 15. Yes, and she's been like a wallflower her entire freaking life. She's been like invisible. That's what she said she was good at. And now she has all eyes on her. And she... Do you think she can do it? Of course she can do it. She's going to be great. Okay, I'm sorry, Mr. Cable Show. And yeah. I'm just really sorry. I didn't mean it. Just the green monster of jealousy came out because you were Miss Popular. Yes. And you being a princess is kind of a miracle. Wow is having the power to affect change, make people listen. How many teenagers have that power? What more of a miracle do you want? It's a tiny country, though. It doesn't have a lot of power. It's Andorra, right? Like they call it Genovia here or something, but it's um, Andorra is the one be between. Spain and France, I think. I'm still going to the Genovian Independence Day Ball, and I'm inviting you. Josh looks better in the tux. Yes, but Josh is an ass. You don't, don't worry about me. I just consider myself royally flushed. Oh, he's really, really hurt. Yeah, you're such a freak! Yeah, yeah, I am. But you know what? Someday I just might grow out of that. But you, you will never stop being a jerk. <laughs> exactly. See what she did to me? Oh, no. Honey, I'm sorry. I was in a very important... <laughs> yeah, didn't see anything. <laughs> it's a present for your 16th birthday from your father. It was found among his possessions. You know, people think princesses are supposed to wear tiaras, marry the prince, always look pretty and live happily ever after. But it's... Yeah, that sounds fairy tale nonsense to me. A real job. I mean, she can make it into what she wants it to be. Especially since she's like next in line to the throne. So like, if she's queen, she tells people what to do. <laughs> no one tells her what to do. I mean, they do as well, but it's different. The people of Genovia and I couldn't bear to disappoint you again. See, that's a good in that's a good attitude to have. It shows that her heart is in the right place, which matters. I wrote a character just like you once. He was a spy. I'm not a spy. That's what the character said. <laughs> yes. And <laughs> also what's and it's also what someone who isn't a spy would say. I need you to formally renounce your title for the press. At the ball, you know? You make a speech. Mm -hmm. What's this now? Is she gonna pack? Thank 
like you, Dad, but I can't be <sighs> a princess, okay? I don't notice the letter. I'm scared. Joseph. Silly cat. Or was it Fat Louie? Mother would be bringing her. Helen just arrived and said Mia was waiting for you. She's going to run. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see what this letter says. It is a custom in my family to pass on a piece of wisdom when one reaches this age. I pass oh, this is going to make her change her mind and then she's going to have to hurry to get dressed and then when, when Joe shows up she's going to be all fabulous. The brave may not live forever, but the cautious do not live at all. From now on... Great words of wisdom. Oh, you, no, you can't. It's not gonna work. Don't do this, baby. I thought Joe would show up. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh man, that got to me instantly. Oh my, she's fabulous. Do we have any news? <laughs> hey, a Norwegian there at the end. If she's not here in ten minutes, I'll make the announcement. Yes. Ah, oh, for goodness sakes. I am invisible and I am wet. Joe is gonna show up. <laughs> well maybe she can she can change in the limo. Is it true if the teenager refuses the princess ship, your family will take over the country of Genovia? Oh, that's not a good idea. No, ma'am. Stall, for goodness sake, stall. Just a little while longer. <laughs> yes, the Willem Tell Overture. <laughs> Perfect music selection. Get in and get dressed. I don't know if she can, though. I apologize for the delay and... Oh, hello. Oh, and may I say... <laughs> welcome. <laughs> yes, the knighted ones. Thank you so much for your patience. Yes, look over to the right. My granddaughter. <clears throat> Care to say a few words? Um, yes. Why don't we dress like her? We look like idiots. No, you look fabulous. It's It's fine. Normally, I get so nervous that I, I, I faint or run away, or um, sometimes I even get sick. Oh. <laughs> yes, back off. <laughs> I'm not so afraid anymore. That's good. No, my, my father helped me. Probably all I ever do is think about myself. And just, how lame is that? When there's like, this is a really good speech. Out there on the planet, <laughs> and when yeah, you're getting sidetracked now. See, if I were. Princess of Genovia, then those thoughts could be turned into actions. No, this is very, very sweet. I choose to be forevermore Amelia Mionette Thermopolis Rinaldi. This is very cute. I just, I love a good coming of age story. Ah, ah you made it. You bet your life, you big taller string bean. Here. Follow here to save the day. <laughs> oh, so she's gonna get her big moment. I think perhaps we'd better get you dried off now. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, and what about Michael? <laughs> nice. <laughs> that was clever. Hey, nice, Charlotte. That is a fabulous dress. And the hair up like that with the... Where's Michael? Yes, and he has no idea how to dance this. No, actually he does. No. Oh. She's gonna get her first kiss now. The precious moment. Why me? I don't know. Because you saw me when I was invisible. Yeah, I mean, that's part of it, I guess. But it's gotta be more to it than that. And the foot. 
There you go. <laughs> hey, it's improved the mood. Unexpected. That's gorgeous. <laughs> you believe it. Palace. They're even having my Mustang brought over, which I can legally drive. <laughs> and hopefully they can give it up real once over. <laughs> Everybody's got pre-coronation jitters, including me. Everybody that is, except Fat Louie. He's totally adapted to being a royal. I mean, he's a cat after all. Welcome to Genovia. Okay. That was the Princess Diaries. Okay, where do we start? I think we start at... Um, hmm. I enjoyed this. This was fun. Like I said, I just... I always love a good coming-of-age story. Um, I think it's my favorite, like, archetype of story, you know? And uh, this was a really good one, as far as casting. Um, like, I don't... <sighs> Lily was a good pick, uh, the actress they got to play her. Um, like, she just fits, I guess, as that, like, nerdy friend who's, uh, you know, a bit of, a bit of everything. <laughs> very active, very, very uh, socially aware, or I don't know how you... She has causes, is what I'm trying to get at, and she's trying to, like change the world for the for the better and uh, Anne Hathaway was great in this I think she was she really sold the like the invisible uncomfortable um, girl who was like don't notice me don't see me um, she didn't <laughs> yeah she felt out of place and um it was believable. Her her performance was very believable, I thought. I mean, it was exaggerated at times, but uh, not overly so. Julie Andrews was perfect as the queen. <laughs> it's the perfect pick. She's, she pulled that off incredibly well. And then there was the the usual, you know, like the, the, the popular girls who are uh, always so mean. Um, yeah. I don't really have much to say about any of the others, really. But yeah, those main three were really good. Joe as well. <laughs> he was awesome. I, I've seen that guy in other things, but yeah, he's always solid. Don't know what his name is, though. Doesn't really matter, I guess. On the whole, it was... Like, I didn't know what to expect going in. I had some ideas i guess and it delivered on basically everything it was heartwarming there was the moment of her like losing sight of what was important and then figuring out that eh, this popular nonsense is not for me and uh, she went back to her friend it didn't blow up like <sighs> the level of conflict was very low like there wasn't a huge amount of drama you know it was very it was very mellow and very feel good. Like there was a couple of moments, like when, uh, like when uh, Mia told Lily that she was a princess the first time, and there was that gardener that uh, the guy was working there. I thought maybe he was the one who uh, heard about her being a princess, and that's how the press knew um, when the, when the news came out. And there would have been like so. I thought that. Maybe if that was the case, then maybe there would have been drama and like a bit, a bit more strife, a bit more conflict between Lily and uh, and Mia. And then, like at a later point after the beach party, I thought that maybe maybe then there's going to be conflict between them. And like I was basically looking for it at a couple of times, but it never really went there. It was just like Lily was always understanding. <laughs> I was like, it, yeah, there wasn't really any conflict. I mean, there was some conflict, but, you know, it, it never really dipped, like, usually there's, like, hills and valleys, like, peaks and valleys, uh, but the valleys were not very deep <laughs> for this one. And I don't know if it would have been better if there had been more conflict. 
I don't know. It would have been a different movie in that case, I guess. All in all, yeah, I had a good time. It was, it was good, harmless fun, clean fun, <laughs> you know. I don't really think I have much more to add, really. Hmm. Yeah, no, I don't have anything more to add. So that is all I have for you today. I thank you very much for joining me, and I hope to see you in the next video. Until then, however, do take care of yourselves, and peace out.